so application event when you create an event component then the type should be application application event so description is not mandatory if you want to give some description you can give it okay then attributes you have to define however you have done in the component events okay if you give here component then it will be called as component event and if you give it as an application then it will be called as application event so inside the one component usually for the lightning uh, component events it should be in the parent and child relationship but uh, in the application event it's not required to have in the same container or it should not be in the same uh, parent and child relationship so okay how to register the same way register the event give the name give the type then firing the event there is there will be some syntax difference so for the component event you will be giving for cmp event plus two if it is a component event you have to give component dot get event then name okay so whatever you have registered inside this one so here name is app event uh, if it is a component event you have to get it using the name of that component event so if it is as it is the application event you can give dollar a dot get and then e dot e means just event which is the prefix then c means namespace it is a common namespace then colon app event okay usually you have seen e dot force colon something turn waiting or something you have already seen so the same way c is the common namespace for us so you are giving like this one then same way set the parameters by the event and in the next component whatever it is there to handle that usually uh, name you have to give for but for application events it is not required to give the name of the event for component event in both places in handler and uh, actual car register event name should be matched okay so here event type you have to give then action so whenever that event is fired from the other component it should be handled here so for that you will be using this one component dot event so this will be the same there will be no change for handling the event you don't have any changes on this okay so you, here the important questions are what are the two types of propagations parent to child child to parent capture and bubble bubble is the default so you you have to try capture how it works and you guys have to explain tomorrow then you have seen component events application events till that your lightning classes are almost completed we have two more concepts in this one is interface or uh, even started seeing tokens these are not much required but i'll give overview of them tomorrow so that it will be completed and there will be something like if you want to access the uh, custom labels okay there will be some syntaxes on this so what you can do is you can create label then syntax will be dollar so you generally so we are going to use this one right so to display one value we'll be giving like this square brackets I mean flower brackets then exclamatory symbol after that if you give v dot then it is value of that attribute okay so if you want to access custom label dollar label dot label name okay then if you want to access the static resource also then dollar resource dot name you can use like this just try that custom labels and how to use the static resources inside the components okay even in the javascript controllers also you have to use in the same way dollar label dot label c dot something so you have to understand that one that will be very useful okay so any questions on this guys sir i have doubts yes 
in the component event uh, that parent component can call only one child component or uh, n number of components any number of components call means if you fire the event if you handle if you want to handle two or more e components with that event also you can just register the event and uh, get the values that's it okay sir. 